Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio. For those of you logical sign of Scorpio. And I do already have two cards. However, I did have to start re-recording and I'm glad I did because there was issues with the other video. It probably wouldn't have even posted. So let's jump right into this. I want to say the extended will be on Patreon. And thank you so much for all donations, likes, comments, everything that really supports this channel. I appreciate it so much. Okay, so Scorpio, the first message that I received here is that you definitely are very aware of what you want, but in order to get to it, you may have to leave someone, um, cut someone out, and it could possibly be a marriage, a relationship that you have to end. More importantly, though, like you really want to get in with someone else. There's someone you have your eye on. Um, this person could kind of not really know that you're coming for them as well. This could be someone who's very stable, nurturing, and loving. Um, okay, let's see what this is about. There's some sort of sadness I'm seeing here as well. This may be someone that you left at one point, and so like they don't even have any idea that you are trying to figure out or think of a way to come and give them love with this energy, the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like you actually didn't walk away, even though this person may feel like you did, the person you're coming back to. Um, but you actually were just contemplating what to do because you may be in a marriage. Why were you contemplating? Let me ask. There's something with the Queen of Swords. Clearly, that is usually the ex-wife or the person that's getting um, left, right? So I do see that you did have to leave a situation in order to get to what you want. We have the Knight of wand energy here but so this could be you because i was asking about you know what the situation is this could be you leaving heading on to a new journey but it's not easy and there's actually a transition period where you go from heartache to kind of dealing with it and then um, fully letting it go okay so who's the person that you're loving scorpio this person that it looks like you probably kind of left behind um, it could be a Queen of Cups energy you're dealing with. It could just be someone who holds the cup to your heart. So it's probably your true love, whoever this is. This is someone. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. So true love energy. But there's definitely a broken heart energy here as well. So Scorpio, you want to go towards this person. What's truly holding you back from taking that move? So, <laughs> Sorry. So what's truly holding you back is um, taking your power and fully ending another situation, putting it to rest. We have this energy of the judgment and we have the sorcerer here. So it's like really coming to a realization like this is over and leaving, detaching yourself from hanging on any longer so you can have a new beginning. Um, what about the person you're leaving? Let's just see possibly that queen of swords energy. Um, we have the Emperor, and I'm seeing the Two of Cups. So the person that you're leaving, they could have dark hair because I'm seeing that um, stick out for both of them. The person you're leaving is someone you have a foundation with, some sort of a partnership with. Very possible, right? I don't see love coming up for that, but I do see a genuine um, respect between two people. What is Duck Duck Goose about? Maybe you guys um, accomplished things together. Maybe you guys, you hustled together possibly. Uh, but there is an ending to that situation. And it involves a move, I believe. Oh gosh, Six of Pentacles in reverse and then the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. It really does involve some sort of a move in a way from either people that you know depend on you, okay? So that can be very hard. Um, it could be people that really need your financial support as well, people that you nurture and cared for with the Ten of Pentacles under the Queen of Pentacles. It could literally also be you moving out of a marriage, away from that, okay? So let's see. What's going on with that marriage the energy we have here, please? Yeah, so you've been hanging on until like the final spin or the final draw um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Wands here. It's something you've really 
you've been unsure about making the move. You've been unsure about leaving because there's something you're hanging on to here. And what is that? What is the real deal? Um, could be everything you worked for. Uh, maybe you feel like you've worked so hard. Things are just getting to this spot where they can kind of be enjoyed, but you're not enjoying it there. So that's interesting. Um, you're hanging on and also delaying yourself from having this new beginning. So what does Scorpio need to know here? Possibly advice or something. Here we go. So we have the Six of Swords. That is about really um, coming to a realization and facing some truths. And the truth is, is you want a fresh start. You want to be somewhere else. You want to... Wipe this slate clean and start over fresh. It really is saying that. Um, I don't see a fear of loss of money or anything like that, or even caring about that. I see a strong energy that you want to go to true love. You want to be in a true love situation. So who is this true love energy in regards to? We have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles underneath. So there's definitely someone you want to surprise or um, go towards and make a solid offer. Who is this person? This is someone that you left in confusion. Nine of Swords are in reverse. So this person isn't in the Nine of Swords energy, but they probably had to get out of it with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, they had to figure out how to get out of it. And you left this person in confusion, I feel, because you may have went to deal with other, another situation or you had responsibilities to take care of with the other partnership. So you had to leave. Okay, yeah, and, and you had to make a decision, but I see that you did make a decision and you are now single. You are going to be contacting this person probably to let them know you'd like to come in and be honest and open up to them um, and come on better terms with this, this person, this love, this true love of yours. Okay, how does this true love feel about you? <laughs> Let's see. So they feel that you're you're hung on, um, I feel like this person feels that you're hung in this past connection that you, I don't know, that you're stuck there with the Four of Swords energy, like you're not what this person is feeling, because they may not know that you have moved and that you are leaving. Um, so this person is feeling like you're stuck in the past. Uh, stuck in a situation you don't want to be in eight of swords coming out you know so maybe you left this person without telling them your plans maybe the last time you spoke to this person you just said hey i'm not feeling good i don't want to be with the person i'm with but i don't know what to do um i just feel like this person is still thinking of past energies of past information though this person really wants you to come towards them and have this loving connection this person feels like you're stuck in the past and you're not moving uh, out of it, plain and simple. So in the ad, in the advice, in the extended, we're going to look more into this person that you care about, how they feel about you, and also maybe a time frame as to when this will happen. I mean, it's very possible it could happen now. I did just cut the card and it went to the star card and the high priestess there. So there could be something that happens in the season of Aquarius, which is right now. Thank you so much. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. I put the yellow rim at the bottom so you guys can notice the videos easier now. And if you're interested, you can always join Patreon to join for the extended, all extended. Otherwise, I hope I see you on Friday for the oh boy reading. Bye for now. Oh yeah. Well, of course, that's a week away. <laughs> Bye for now.